what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Tonight we're making a delicious delicious supper we're having million dollar spaghetti and i have searched for the recipe that looks the best to me and i'm tweaking it to make it my own so or not really making it my own i'm just making a few changes it's really their recipe but i've looked at several and so i'm kind of taking a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one and we're making it what i think would be our good million dollar spaghetti so the first thing i'm going to do is start browning a pound of hamburger. I've got a pound of, I think it's uh, 85 15 um, or 80 20 would be perfect because you the fat gives it some great flavor. I've got it over here at the stove. We're going to get it started. I've also chopped up a small onion right here and we're going to go in and just cook that right along with the hamburger. I don't cook them separate. I just cook them together because that's flavor, flavor, flavor. The beef is flavoring the onions. The onions is flavoring the beef and they're all cooking together. So that's the way I do it. So let me grab a wooden spoon here and we're just going to get started. I'll bring you back when this gets to going good. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Leslie, and you're watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to do so. I upload videos mainly on cooking, but sometimes grocery hauls, sometimes farming videos, sometimes clothing hauls. You never know what you're going to get, but you'll always be surprised, and you'll get good laughs because I'm always full of bloopers, <laughs> usually. And my husband has lame dad jokes. So, if you don't mind, if you haven't already done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification. And if you've already subscribed and you're one of my loyal viewers, welcome back. I love you guys with all my heart. So let's get started. Okay, guys, I have it pretty close to being done. And I'm also going to add in some minced garlic. I have this ginormous jug that I really thought I would use a lot faster than I am, but I'm actually not using it as fast as I had hoped to. Much to my refrigerator's chagrin, because <laughs> I just don't have room in my refrigerator. So we're gonna put that garlic in there. And it doesn't look like this is gonna need draining much at all. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to add in, I just happened to find this in my cabinet, so we're just going to use a jar, a 24 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce, I think it's 24 ounce, yes, 24 ounce spaghetti sauce. I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of water in here, shake it around just to clean it all out. Now we can definitely salt and pepper at this time. Some more additions we're going to make is I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning and I'm having to fight the urge to add in sugar. I always put a little bit of sugar in my spaghetti sauce, but it doesn't look like that's what's called for 
and so I'm not going to do it, but I have to say I am definitely fighting the urge because I do like my spaghetti sauce. Not sweet. I don't want it sweet, but I want it mellow, and there's something that that sugar just does to mellow out the... So, I'm not going to do it, but I really want to. All right, so we're just going to set this aside, turn it off, and this is ready. Now, our next step is we're going to get our noodles on, and let me cut this off. <coughs> we're going to get our noodles on, and we're going to make our cheese mixture. All right, so let's get started on our cheese mixture. What you're going to need is an 8-ounce block of cream cheese. You're going to need a little bit of sour cream, some cottage cheese or ricotta, whichever you prefer, some garlic powder, and I'm going to put in a few parsley, parsley flakes. Okay, so the whole eight ounce of cream cheese is going to go into my bowl. <laughs> They've changed the way you open them, and I always struggle, so... Give me just a minute. And it's best if this is at room temperature just to help it mix up well. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go in with about a fourth of a cup of sour cream. And a cup of cottage cheese or ricotta. I really, really, really like cottage cheese. And let me tell you where I learned to like cottage cheese in my um, lasagnas and spaghettis. And that was, that was, do y'all remember the Lean Cuisines or the, the like, yeah, the Lean Cuisines. I think it was pretty much Lean Cuisine. And they had a lasagna and um, it had obvious cottage cheese in it and I loved it and that's where I decided I would use cottage cheese instead of ricotta although I love ricotta too so here is our cheese mixture now we want to just season this up a little bit um, I'm not going to put any salt and pepper in here although you can I'm just going to put some garlic might put some salt and pepper I think I will and I'm gonna put some parsley flakes this is mainly just to make it pretty all right let me grab a little salt and pepper all right All right, guys, so now we're just going to wait till our noodles get done, and then we're going to layer this up, just kind of like you would a lasagna, um, and we'll meet you back here as we get it in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven and get things ready. I'll meet you back here when it comes time to pull everything together. Okay, everyone, let's assemble this million-dollar spaghetti that I probably won't take a million dollars for, so... Let's get this going. Okay, I've sprayed my dish here. I have boiled up, per the package instructions, about 16 ounces of noodles. So we're gonna start with half of the noodles, and they are nice and scalding hot. It's gonna be messy here, because they are hot, hot, hot. I should have run some cold water over them. I get just a few more. I'm gonna have to run some cold water over them. All right, so there we go. All right, on top of that, we're gonna let me. I'm gonna run some water on that. Okay, 
On top of that, we're going to add in half of our cheese mixture. There goes in half of our cheese mixture. All right, now we're going to add the other half of noodles. Woo! That was not smart. I just spilled water all over the floor. Oh, that works out much better. There we go. All right, now we're going in with the rest of our cheese mixture. I almost wish I had some more cheese mixture, but that's all it called for. Let me get a silicone spatula. I think I used too much on the first layer. That's okay. It's all going in the same casserole, so it don't matter. This is going to be so good, y'all. Alright. So now, on top of this, we're going to go in with our spaghetti sauce. Sorry, I know I'm blocking your view. All right. Now, if you had an Instapot, you could do this in a one pot um, way in the Instapot, but I know a lot of my viewers don't have Instapots, so I wanted to make this um, the way you would make it without having an instant pot. But you, by all means, could definitely. Well, let's see. Let me see if I can find some more mozzarella cheese. That one's all clumped up. That bag had seen its better day. It was kind of all clumped up together. So I'm going to use this Colby Jack, which is a great substitution for uh, mozzarella. And this is a good melting size. I like the size of this cheese. Okay, so it's going to go in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. You just kind of keep an eye on it till it's good and bubbly. And if the cheese starts browning too soon, you can definitely put tinfoil over it. All right. And so on top of that cheese, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Parmesan. So this, my friends, is a million dollar spaghetti, and you'll know why it's called that when we taste it. Okay, so it is ready for the oven. It'll be going in in just a little bit, 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. We'll see you when it's done. 
Okay, y'all, here it is out of the oven. So we'll be ready to taste it in just a little bit. We have the bread getting ready to go in the oven and just waiting for everybody to get here from the farm, from Caroline getting here from work and the boys from school. And we'll be ready to give this a try. Okay, everybody. Hey, everybody. Here is the million dollar spaghetti. Look at that right there. Mm -mm -mm. All that goodness. He's ready to try it. Yep, yep. I'll have to admit, I've already snuck a bite. He did. Look at all that. Is that ricotta cheese? What kind of cheese is that? Well, there's there's a lot of different cheeses. A lot of different cheese. kinds of cheeses? But no, there's no not any ricotta. No ricotta. What it looks like it. It's white. Co it's cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Cream cheese, sour cream. You know the difference between ricotta and cottage? An R. One has an R. I don't I, know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> all right, here we go. How do you eat spaghetti gracefully on camera? You don't. There is no graceful way to eat spaghetti on camera. Damn. I think what I would prefer to do next time, just by the looks of it, mm -hmm. not by the taste, just by the looks, is just mixing it all up instead of layering it. It's really good. Really, really But it good. may not matter. Is there any salt? Any, how much sauce is in it? One jar of sauce okay. and one pound of meat. Mm -hmm. And you can use what meat of preference you want. It's full of flavor. Really good. Nothing overbears anything. Um, what kind of cheese did you get on top of? Um, Colby Jack and Parmesan. Yep. My mozzarella had clumped together, so. It's still really good. Yeah. I like that. For, if, for me, if you wanted to put a little more sauce, you could. But it is really good. I like it. He likes it. It's okay, a it's a keeper. All right, so there's several steps to it. Now, like I said, if you want to make it really easy in a one pot thing, you can do it in the Instapot. Now, I'm not familiar with how to do it in the um, mm -hmm. in the Instapot, but it's definitely an option, and you don't have to mess up several pots. You just do it all in one. That dog will hunt. That dog will hunt. You'll try your bite? I'm going to get a little bite of the sauce. <clears throat> I'm gonna try a little bite. I don't get to eat them. That's really good. Really, really, really good. Okay guys, there you have it. Million dollar spaghetti, you can't beat it. It's delicious. So remember, the grease is hot enough. I was finishing the swallowing. If the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye y'all.